will, turn with me in your Bibles to John chapter 10, verse 11. Now what we've been doing is we've been going through the sayings of Jesus, particularly the I Am sayings. And that is uh, uh, peculiar to the Gospel of John. The gospel is a little bit different. But in John's Gospel, we have such sayings as, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. And today we're going to look at another one of those very, very familiar sayings of Jesus Christ, where he explains who he is. And here is the I am saying for this Sunday, from John chapter 10. Verse 11. I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep. Let's pray and ask God to bless this verse of Scripture for us. Our great Lord and Savior, help us to approach you today wanting to know more about you, just as the believers said in the Bible, may we see Jesus. We ask that we can see him through your words today. And help us grow in trust for you. I make this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he 
he starts to think, well, maybe God stopped with me. Maybe he's not the good shepherd after all. I really think that what Satan wants to do is to convince all of us that God's not good. He's not a good shepherd. And that's what Jesus addresses this morning in this passage. Today I'm here to remind you of something. And I think that's really the preacher's job, to remind you what's in Scripture and what Jesus says. He's the good shepherd. Now i got to tell you, when Jesus said this, there was a problem. There was a big problem for God's people. See, from the beginning of the Bible, God is said to be a good shepherd to his people. If you go back to the patriarchs and Jacob, he says towards the end of his life, God has been a shepherd to me throughout my days. Now, this is a man who had Esau breathing threats against him. He ran into problems with Laban and his daughters. And then when he gets free from Laban, he's once again faced by Esau. He then loses his youngest son because his other sons had issues, let's just say. And then he's forced to move from Canaan into Egypt. Now his life is not easy. But at the end of it, for all those twists and turns, what is he able to say? That God has been good to me. He's been a shepherd to me. Through all of it. And when you think of Israel, that's the way God was. He was constantly shepherding them along, taking care of them. They may not have recognized it, but he really was good to Israel. And when God gives us this picture of himself as a good shepherd, he also expects under shepherds to be good as well. And if you read the Bible, what are the leaders of God's people called? They're called shepherds. Okay. 2 Samuel 7, 7. He says, Today you will shepherd my people. But what happened? Those leaders who were to reflect God's justice and mercy didn't act that way. Way. They were not good shepherds. And if you look at the kings of Israel, Rehoboam, he said, look, you think Solomon made it tough on you? I'm going to make it tougher on my people. That wasn't very godly. You go on, you've got other kings, such as Ahab, Queen Jezebel. They were supposed to take care of God's people, but they didn't do it. They ripped God's people off. They stole from them. They killed godly people. And then you've got the priests as well, who were considered shepherds for God's people. They were supposed to reflect God. But read the prophets. What does God say about the shepherds, the priests, the religious leaders who were supposed to take care of God's flock? So some pretty harsh things about them. For example, in Jeremiah 23, it says this. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who care for my flock, you have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended them. Behold, I will attend to you for your evil deeds. In the book of Ezekiel, it says this about the shepherds, the, the priests, the religious leaders. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy against the shepherd of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, even to the shepherds, thus says the 